Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have the FabFitFun box for winter 2020. If you're unfamiliar with FabFitFun, it is a seasonal lifestyle subscription, so you get it four times a year. You can choose to be a seasonal member, which means you're gonna pay $49.99 every single season, or you can choose to be an annual member. You will pay for the year upfront, and you pay $45.99 for a season, so you basically save 20 bucks. Also, if you're annual, you do get a lot of perks. You get quicker shipping. You also get to shop the add-on sales first and the edit sales, I believe. Also, you get to shop sooner, and you also get to customize two additional categories in your box as well. So there are a lot of perks with being annual, but if you're unsure about the box, it's probably better to be seasonal to make sure it's something you really want to keep. I am very excited to get into the box because if you don't know, FabFitFun is my favorite subscription box that I do. If I had to only choose one subscription box to get, it would definitely be FabFitFun. If you are new here, hello, my name is Emily or M-E-G, whatever you want to call me. I do lots of different type of content on my channel. I do a beauty content. I also do fashion content and fabric content. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let's go ahead ahead and get into the box. Now I did do quite a few add-ons this month so I'm going to do the add-ons at the end and go through the stuff in the box. I'm not going to list every single thing you could have picked in every category just ones that I have stuff to say about otherwise we're just going to move through because I don't want this video to be five years long. Also one thing I did want to note I am going to start it in this video. I'm going to start listing the products I have on my face down in the description box just because I've been getting a lot of questions about that recently in the comments. With every FabFitFun box you get like a bunch of different types of coupons. I have a code for $15 off your first box. If someone would like the code, comment down below. The first person who comments that they want it with their Instagram handle, I will DM them the code that's on the back of here. We also get a sticker, which is cute. And of course you have your FabFitFun magazine and it's gonna have all of our product information inside. And then they also have like some other tips and tricks on how to use different things. All right, so let's dive right in. I'm gonna show you the first item I chose, which is the Unhide Low Marshmallow Blanket. I'm super excited about this. This is the silver color. I do have the one that came in the box last year that it was a cream color. I was very excited to get this. If you didn't watch my what to know before you customize fabric items edition, I mentioned how much I love this blanket in there. So let me open it so I can show you guys. Here is the blanket. It is so stinking soft. I'm so excited. Like I said, I do have the cream version and I really enjoy that one. I wanted another one because I go to my parents' house sometimes because I still have a lot of my stuff there. So sometimes I go there to pick stuff up and sometimes I'll end up like staying the night. So I figured I could keep one there, keep one here. So that way I have a blanket when I go to their house and when I'm here. I thought it was pretty ingenious. This is not sewn through correctly. So you can see the middle part right here. This is not supposed to be showing through. It should be like this. I could fix it probably on my machine. I might not have to contact them. If I were to try to wash this with that loose, it could definitely ruin the blanket. I just thought I'd point that out. But I do love this blanket. It is a $65 retail value. And I am happy I chose it, even though there is definitely a sewing issue right there. Some of the other items you could have chosen in this category that I almost picked was the Summer and Rose robe. That robe I thought looked really nice, really soft, really comfy. However, every time I buy a robe, I never use it more than like three times and then it just kind of sits there. So I figured I should probably not get that even though it looked super nice and super cozy. Another item you could have chose, I almost chose, was the champagne glasses from Bombshi. I think that's how you say it. I didn't choose these mostly because they didn't have stems and they're meant for champagne. I could use it to drink other things, but when it comes to champagne and white wines, I know scums make me sound like a wine snob. I like to have a stem because your body heat is going to heat up the glass every time you grab it, every time you drink out of it. So I like to go with stemless glassware, especially for white wines and champagne. Just my personal preference. I also almost chose the Vera Bradley item, which was a compact organizer. The only reason I didn't add this on was because because my mom asked me, who also does FabFitFun, if I would like anything additional that I wasn't gonna put in my box. So I told her that. Oh, I forgot to mention the first category, everyone got to customize that, whether you were seasonal or annual. The next item which I chose is the Lily Pulitzer Ceramic Mugs. And I'm super excited to open these. This was another one that everyone got to customize. So I'm just gonna pull out the one mug for right now to show you guys, but I love these. These are so cute. I love the gold handles. 
I love the design. I really, really enjoy Lily Pulitzer. I love their prints and their patterns. I think they're quite beautiful. This is microwave and dishwasher safe. I love the XO Lily up here. That's super cute as well. These are just really, really adorable. I use mugs all the time because I drink coffee all the time. Those mugs had a retail value of $42. One of the other items I wanted to talk about real quick that was in this category was the Lucky Brand scarf because I did almost choose that. Now I don't really wear scarves, which is the reason I didn't choose it, but it is a huge, like thick, really nice looking scarf. And Lucky Brand is such a good brand that I really was debating about it. That scarf is it, oh my god that scarf is $69.50 which is very expensive for a scarf but I did think about getting that or adding it on as well. So for category number three I chose the Lily Sadugi headband. Now personally I did not like literally anything in this category. This is another category by the way that everyone does get to customize so let me show you the headband. Here it is it's like a maroon velvet and then it has the cute little like thing on the inside. This retails for $49 which is very expensive for a headband band. Lily Sadugi is known for accessories. The reason I chose this is to push my hair back when I do my makeup. This is personally not really my style. I feel like I look like blonde Snow White with this on. Like, no. No. So I don't really like it that much. It's just not my personal style, but it will be great for pushing my hair back, especially when I need to wash my green one. I won't have to wash it immediately. And that's pretty much the only reason I chose this. There was legitimately nothing in this category that I liked. The other items that were in this category were two Dr. Brandt items. I don't like Dr. Brandt as a brand personally. I think they're very overpriced. I think the reason they're overpriced is because they put essential oils in their skincare, which most of the essential oils they use actually don't have a lot of scientific data to back up any claims that they make on it. They also use a lot of citrus oils. I do not put citrus oils under any circumstance on my skin. It's it's a no for me. So I knew I wasn't gonna pick either of those items. There was also two makeup items. One was a mascara. I'm very picky on mascara. The other was a eyeshadow palette that just wasn't my style whatsoever. It was very light, very minimal, and I didn't really have anyone to give it to because I finished Christmas shopping already and I always Christmas shop really early, so I had no one else to pick for. So I went with this. It'll do what I want. I'm gonna wear something on my head to push my hair back. It's probably gonna be sunglasses. I'm not even gonna lie. For the next category, this was category number four. Now I actually added on in this category. So I'll show you my add on after I show you what I picked. What I chose was the Tula Probiotic Skincare. And this is their Get and Glow Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I love Tula as a brand. Oh, this was only something you could customize if you were a annual member, by the way, sorry. So here is what it looks like. I love Tula. I have not tried a product I dislike from them yet. So that's why I chose this. I am a little bit nervous about a couple of the ingredients in here. If it was on my face, I wouldn't be worried, but because it's near my eyes and I know how sensitive my eyes are, I'm just a tiny bit worried that it's not gonna end up working out for me, but I'm hoping it works out because I really do like the brand and I am very excited to test this out. This does retail for $30. The item I chose to add on in this category were actually these. These are from Kate Spade and these are some athletic bar socks. It was $7 to add these on so I was pretty happy with that. You get two sets of these socks and they do retail for $24. Here's what they look like. They are super cute. I love them. I love Kate Spade. Kate Spade's probably my favorite designer, but I really, really love the designs from Kate Spade. I love the gold spade. Since it's getting cold outside, I won't be going outside to work out anymore. I'll probably stay inside. And what I've been doing is on my yoga mat, I've been stretching using like three pound weights and doing stretches to sort of tone my muscles a little bit. And I felt like these would be really great for gripping onto that. And the way that the ankle strap is and everything, I thought would work real nicely too. So I am very excited to have these. I've been trying to work out more since I've been losing weight. Fun fact, I have lost 30 pounds since August. Now on to category number five. This was another category where there was really nothing I liked. So I chose this. These are from Apare. Here we go. And they're four cutting boards. And these retail for $19. So it comes with four different ones. You have like your vegetable one, your seafood one, your chicken, your 
ground beef. If I do keep these, I think these will be good just because I could always use cutting boards. I go through them and then they got all messed up and stuff and it bothers me when they're messed up. I know like it's a natural thing that happens, but it bothers me. The other two items in this category I wouldn't have really used. The Butanique eye gels I thought about, but there was an ingredient in there that I was unsure about, so I didn't pick those. And then I don't use dry shampoo, let alone a dry shampoo powder, so that automatically rolled out the other option. Now for the FabFitFun picks, and I'm not gonna lie to you, the Fab fifth on picks I am keeping one of the three I got. First for category six you could have gotten what I got which is this lip scrub. There were also some acne patches or you could have gotten a below the belt card case. By the way, the croc case is faux leather, just in case you were curious. I am actually really happy I got this. I really would not have wanted either of the other items. Really need a lip scrub too because I finished up my lip scrub like a few weeks ago and I haven't bought a new one because my lips have been fine, but this will be good for whenever they're not so fine and they're chapped and I can definitely use these to help exfoliate them. So I'm very excited to have this. This retails for $20. The next item, Fab Fit fun chose for me were these, which are scrunchies, which you may for obvious reasons realize that I'm not going to use because my hair is a pixie cut. So you could have either gotten these or a facial dry brush, which if I had gotten the facial dry brush, I probably just would have used it to like exfoliate my body or scratch my back, honestly, because I wouldn't use that on my face in any circumstance. That's just me personally. But these are three leopard print scrunchies. I'm not gonna open them because I'm not gonna keep these. I'm not sure who I'm gonna give these to. I'll probably just see if one of my friends wants them because my mom also got these and gave them to my sister already, so I can't give them to her. I do like leopard print. I just, I. I'm not I'm not going to use scrunchies for obvious reasons. So there's that and these retail for $25, which is absolutely ridiculous for hair scrunchies. The last item they chose for me, I actually already own. Um, I'll go ahead and grab it and show you guys. So here is the blush that I have. It's the same shade too. It's making moves. Here is what it looks like. It does have a mirror with it. I've worn this many times. If you watched my blush tag, I talked about this too. It's really, really pretty. I really like this blush shade. It's like a really nice like peachy pink color with some gold reflect. So I'm not going to open this. I'm probably just going to see if I can pass it along or throw it in someone's stocking because I already own it so I don't need two of them. I am a little bit annoyed that I got the blush only because I did buy this blush in a FabFitFun add-on sale in the spring for five dollars. But of the other items you could have gotten in this category, this is the only one I would have wanted really. I would have used the nail item had I gotten it. By the way, the blush does retail for $27.50 in case you were curious. We also got a little bar in here, which I guess is a bonus item from Kind Thins. It's a dark chocolate nuts and sea salt granola bar, which I'm actually kind of excited because it sounds really good. So that was everything that came in my winter 2020 FabFitFun box. Overall, I am happy with the box. The blankets and the mugs, and the Tula item really just make the box worth it for me personally, even if some of the other items were less than thrilling for me. I'm just overall very happy with the box. I am gonna go ahead into my add-ons now. So if this was the end for you, thank you so much for watching and make sure you click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So the first thing I added on was from Lily Pulitzer and this is the acrylic highball glasses set of two and you can't microwave them and you have to hand wash them, but that's fine because they are beautiful and gorgeous gorgeous and I'm super excited about these. Here is what it looks like. It is so pretty. Again, like I said with the mugs, I just love Lily Pulitzer designs. I think they are gorgeous. I love the gold at the top. I don't remember how much I paid for these. I want to say like $12, which I was more than happy to pay. The next item I added on were these blue light blocking glasses. I want to say these were around like $11. They're from Ziggy and Maurice. I think that's how you say it. I just got these because I wanted another pair of blue light blocking glasses. I just thought they'd be nice to have an extra just in case. And I thought these looked cute and I look like a hipster in them and you can see my ring light, but that's okay. The last thing I added on was this. This is from Voesh and this is the Petty in a Box Bubbly Spa a complete oxygen pedicure system. And I got a pack of three. So I got the raspberry sorbet and two of the cappuccino. This was, I believe $9. I was really bitter. I didn't get the pumpkin spice one in the fall box. And I really wanted to try these kits, even if it wasn't a pumpkin spice one, just get like the three. And then it just comes with the three steps on the inside. Like I said, I have two in cappuccino and one in raspberry sorbet. I am very excited to, oh wait, 
not cappuccino, macchiato. So I'm very excited to try these out and give them a go as well. That is everything I did for add-ons. That was everything in my box. Like I said, overall, I am happy with the box. Like I said, I just love FabFitFun. I love it too because you don't just get makeup or beauty items, even though I like getting that stuff. I also like to get other stuff as well. And that's one of the great things with a lifestyle subscription is you do get a wide variety of different items. And I think that's what truly makes the box for me is getting all these different different types of items. With all that said, let me know down in the comments below if you get FabFitFun, what you got in your box, if you've already gotten your box. Also, if you don't get FabFitFun, just let me know what you thought of my box, what you thought of some of the items I received. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up before you go, and don't forget to click that subscribe button. That is all for today, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good one. Bye!